We have a few callers on the line who had some questions for you. Let's see what they have to say. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, Andy. This is Janie from Laredo, Texas. Hey there, what's your question? My question is for, of course, Teresa and Joe, both of you. I love you both and my heart goes out to you both through all the situation. And I just wanted to ask, what lesson will you teach your children from this whole ordeal? Before you sign something, you make sure you read it carefully before putting your, your John Hancock. So that's your number one lesson from this. Yeah. And if you don't understand the contract, don't sign it. Try to get someone out there that understands contracts. Okay. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hi, Andy. My name is Erica and I'm calling from Virginia. Hey, Erica, what's your question? My question is for Teresa. Teresa, this season, your tagline, you talk about not knowing how strong you are until you're forced to rely on that strength. And I just wanted you to talk about that, what that meant to you now, especially uh, with the situation you're facing with your family. Yeah, you never know how strong you are until it's the only choice you have. Mm -hmm. um, all I think about is my daughters. That's all I think about. And how are you strong for them? By, you know, doing what I have to do. Just like if you fall down, you pick yourself right back up and you keep going. That's what strength is. You know what? No, you. no one's perfect in life. Everyone makes mistakes. And, you know, I made my mistake. I'm paying for it. And, you know, and after that, I'm just going to get back right back up and keep going. Back to the phones. Caller, what's your name and from where are you calling? Hey, Andy, this is Roz. I'm calling from Atlanta. Hey there, what's your question? My question is for both uh, Joe and Teresa. Even as hard as the sentencing was, are you slightly relieved that at least you have an answer to what you're facing and know that there's an end in sight? There's a what? That there's an end in sight. Yes, I mean, yeah. we kept hearing that. You know, like, you know what, after it's over, then you could just move on, with, you know, do what you have to do. It's temporary. It's like it's a short period in your life, and you, you do whatever you have to do and move forward with it. And that's what we're doing. You know, it's just a short time in our life, if you think about it. And we just, you know, God willing, we'll just do it and move forward.